expert view is a quick review for writing a formula for a covalent compound. First, we need to look at the names. We need to realize that there are two ways we can figure out if a compound is, in fact, covalent. The first and easiest way is to look at the names carbon, chlorine, nitrogen, iodine. They are all on the right side of the staircase, means that they're all nonmetals. The rule of thumb is if you have two nonmetals together in a compound and there's no metals, nonmetals only, that is a covalent compound. The other way is if you look at the name, you notice the existence of prefixes like tetra, tri, penta. Those are prefixes. That's another dead giveaway that your compound is in fact covalent. So nonmetal, nonmetal, or prefixes in the name tell you it's covalent. The first step is to write down the symbol for each element. So carbon a C, chlorine a Cl. Second thing is to go and look at the prefixes. Now notice here that carbon does not have a prefix. That means that down here we're not going to give it a subscript. Tetra if you remember, it's the same thing as four. So that means that we have four tetrafluoride, four fluorines. So we're going to bring that down here and write it as a subscript. We'll clean all this up, and you'll see that we have CCl4 as our formula for carbon tetrafluoride. Again, note there is no subscript for carbon. Why? Because there's no prefix. No prefix, no subscript, and vice versa. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Let's go over here to trinitrogen penta iodide. First step, write the symbols down for both elements, N and I. Translate the prefixes into the co uh, subscripts. Prefixes turn into subscripts. Trinitrogen, three nitrogens. Penta iodide, five iodides. That's your correct formula for trinitrogen penta iodide. Again, look for the prefixes, look for the nonmetal nonmetal, and that's a dead giveaway that you have covalent compounds. Write the symbol for each element. Translate the prefix into a number. Write that number as the subscript for its element, and you're done.